diseases of maize and their management. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to elucidate the common diseases in maize. Describe the causes and symptoms of common diseases in maize. Explain the control measures of diseases in maize. We, the maize farmers, help in serving tasty popcorn during leisure activities, adding nutrient to various food items through corn flour, resolving starvation of farm animals through fodder, helping automobiles as biofuel. In addition, we supply corn which is processed and used in many ways by the common people. Are we happy as cultivators? Our answer is definitely no. This is because of the uncertainty in the yield that we attain during each and every harvest. As per the recent study, most of the maize farmers incur a loss of 12 to 35 percentage in yield because of weeds, pests and diseases. Although we are able to control the weeds and pests through some conventional and trained techniques, diseases still remain a challenge to us. Hence, it is of utmost importance that every maize farmer learns to identify the diseases in earlier stages as well as implement the right control measures to increase the yield. I am eager to know about the diseases of maize and their control measures. Are you? Maize is an important cereal crop belonging to the family Poaceae. The scientific name of maize is Zia maize. Some of the diseases which commonly affect the maize crop are stalk rots, downy mildews and leaf spots. Let us discuss one by one in detail. Stalk rots of maize. When the plants are near maturity, the diseases causes lodging and poor grain filling of grains in the cobs. The major pathogens that cause stark rot are Diplodia zii, Fusarium monoliform, Gibrella zii, and Colototricum graminicola. Among these, Gibrella zii is considered to be the major causative organism of stark rot. The pathogens have the ability to survive in the soil throughout the cultivation seasons. Wet weather or silking in maize favors the disease. The pathogen can also occur in soils where there is increased nitrogen content and decreased potash content. Further, high plant density and early maturation of hybrids also favor the development of stock disease. The virulent spores are carried away by winds and deposited in the base of the leaf sheath. The spores can infect the host plant either by penetrating directly or via the wounds which are caused by other insects such as stem borer. Further, conidia are produced asexually on the host which serves as the secondary inoculum. Symptoms of stalk rots. In this disease, the leaves appear dull grey after few weeks of pollination and die prematurely. The internodes turn soft and its interior changes to pink or reddish in colour while its exterior becomes brownish in colour. The pith of the plant rot completely and lodging of stalk may also be noted. These stalk rots can further be classified as Fusarium stalk rot and Gibrella stalk rot. Do you know, an estimated loss of about 10 to 20 percentage in yield is attributed to stalk rot across various regions of the world? Hence, implementing suitable control measures is necessary which include usage of resistant varieties, maintain low plant density, Based on soil tests, follow suitable fertilization practices, use fungicides and pesticides to control insects and stem borers, and implementing 
well timed harvesting downy mildew of maize downy mildew disease is known as a disease for its virulence specifically in the continents such as africa and asia a substantial loss in the yield of maize crop is attributed to two organisms namely sclerophthora racii and perano sclerospora matis temperatures between 21 and 33 degrees celsius and relative humidity around 90 percentage favor downy mildew infection the younger plants are more susceptible to this disease the disease is generally seed and soil borne the infection is categorized as primary infection and secondary infection primary infection involves the transfer of spores either from the germinating seeds or those present in the soil through the root or the collar region a systemic infection reaches the upper part of the plant further large sporangia development can be noticed on the juvenile leaves of the affected plants secondary infection occurs via the transfer of sporangia to healthy plants through wind rainwater or insects further after settling down on a healthy plant the sporangia develop into zoospores and infect the host the infected plants develop light green or white colored stripes on the young leaves which then change to light yellow or white in color later a group of sporangia emerges through the stomata this can be noticed by the appearance of white colored fungal mat either on the lower surface or on both sides of the leaves the disease can also affect the stem during early stages of the plant growth owing to its virulence it is difficult to control this disease however management of downy mildew is possible by deep plowing growing resistant varieties and hybrids roguing out the infected plants spraying metal axle and propoma cart at the rate of 1 kg per hectare at 20 days after sowing treating the seeds with metal axle at the rate of 6 g per kg of seeds following proper crop rotation practice leaf spots of maize they are caused by various bacteria and fungi the commonly occurring leaf spots are brown spot caused by physoderma matis zonet leaf spot caused by gloeospora sogi gray leaf spot caused by cercospheraceae matis tersicum leaf spot caused by exerohylum tersicum here we shall learn about tersicum leaf spot in maize the organisms perinate over seasons in the debris of the infected plants and sporulate at a suitable temperature the spores that is conidia are blown away by winds into healthy maize plants which signify the primary cycle of infection the secondary cycle occurs when the conidia develops in a newly infected plant and further transfer to other plants Symptoms of the plant include appearance of oval and cigar shaped lesions. The lesions generally appear on the leaves at the lower part of the plants and then spread to other leaves including the ears on the upper part. The disease is characterized by the loss of photosynthetic area of the leaf and crop lodging. Leaf spots in maize can be managed by roging out the infected plants cultivating disease resistant varieties application of trichoderma viride at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare in addition to 50 kg of well decomposed farmyard manure at 30 days after sowing spraying metal axle at the rate of 1 kg per liter after the appearance of early symptoms well That has been an interesting lesson about diseases of maize and their management. Let us do a recall of what we have studied so far.
Some of the common diseases of maize crop are stalk rots, downy mildews, and leaf spots. Stalk rot diseases causes lodging and poor filling of grains in the cobs when the plants are near maturity. Downy mildews are caused by seed and soil bone diseases. Leaf spots are caused by various bacteria and fungi.